There is another question from YouTube. Rasmitha Koka. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brother. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How to suggest to non-Muslims who are afraid to accept Islam because of society and relationship fear? How can we motivate them? The question posed is that if a non-Muslim who likes Islam and wants to practice Islam but is afraid of the society, how can we encourage them? How can we support them? As far as, as if a non-Muslim is afraid of the society and is fearful that he may have a backlash. Number one, if a person accepts Islam, he doesn't have to proclaim to the world. If a man or a woman, a male or a female, a boy or a girl who is a non-Muslim, who is convinced with the teachings of Islam, who believes that there is only one God and believes that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, it is between them and Allah. If they tell to themselves and they agree that there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, they don't have to proclaim to the world. It is between them and Allah. As long as they believe in their heart that there is one God who deserves worship and there is no other God besides Allah, and they believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of that Allah, it is sufficient they are Muslims. But proclaiming is better so that it, it helps them so that people come to know they are Muslims and they can practice, they can ask the Muslims, they can go to the mosque, they can ask them if there are problems, they can ask them if there are difficulty and it will help them a lot. But if the situation is such that they are living in a country, a non-Muslim country or there may be a country where the non-Muslim may fear that his relatives may get violent, their life is in danger, in these cases they can keep about the Islamic faith as a secret, it's permitted. Till the time it is convenient for them to proclaim. So in such cases, till the time they feel they can settle or they can find a place where they can stay or if they feel that the parents will go against them, so they wait, they don't proclaim, they can accept Islam and wait till the time is convenient or when they can do hijrah or they can convince their parents that what they have done is right and if they are convinced, so depending upon the situation, they can keep it secret for few days or few weeks or a few months and reveal it at the right time or do hijra or convince their parents, convince their relatives, it's permitted. Now those people are fearful, it's the duty of the Muslims to make them comfortable. We should see to it that we, if we feel that keeping it a secret is better, you can help them to keep it a secret and support them. And if you feel that it's the best that they do hijra and proclaim it, they can do hijra, they can change their place of residence and go to a majority Muslim area and it's the duty of us Muslims to support them. So depending upon what is the requirement for the revert, accordingly should support. If we feel that the life is in danger and proclaiming is detrimental, you can keep it a secret. But this is very in very rare cases. Maybe one or two percent of the people accepting Islam. In majority, maybe the parents may feel offended, but it's not a question of life and death. So in these cases, you, they should try and convince their parents what they have done is, is right. And it's the, it's the duty of us Muslims to see to it that we give them support. And I always say that when a non-Muslim accepts Islam, when a non-Muslim accepts Islam, one of the Muslim brothers should see to it that he makes him like a brother, a family member, at least for the first few months he accepts Islam. So we recommend that one Muslim, if a Muslim, if a non-Muslim man accepts Islam, then one of the Muslims should consider, okay, form for the next few months at least you are like my brother. And invite him to his family so that he can spend the eat together, he can spend the good times and the sorrowful time, as though he has a family. And he spends time with him, guides him. If it's a lady who accepts Islam, so a Muslim huh, can make her her sister, you know. So at least for the few months when they accept Islam, see to it that you go out of the way and share the pleasure like you do with any other family member. So either you spend together, you guide them, call them home, teach them about the salah, about the details of the Islamic Sharia, and see to it that they're comfortable. So that if they go to a mosque and if they go with a Muslim, they're more comfortable rather than going alone to a mosque and you may know, know you don't know what will happen. 
So if you have a Muslim friend accompanying you who behave like a brother, it's much so, it's very important that when a non-Muslim accepts Islam, some of the Muslim should treat them like family members, at least for the first few weeks or first few months, till the things are better. And of course, by the time he'll have more friends. So once he is experienced in being a Muslim for a few months or a year, then it becomes easier and more comfortable more comfortable for him to travel amongst the Muslims or to be among the Muslims. So when a non-Muslim accepts Islam, see to it that the Muslims support them. Many times you may have to support financially, morally and various other ways. And if the non-Muslim is fearful, see to it that you support, that there is someone who is there. If something happens at the last moment, they can give you a call and surely you can be there present in the next few minutes or in 20 minutes, whatever it is. So this gives a sense of security and would be easier for non-Muslim to accept Islam. Hope that answers the question.